Since we started this farm on a mountainside in Panama, we've been very careful about the animals we brought onto our land. We brought on chickens to produce eggs and fertilizer and help with tilling our soil. My goodness. We got four little chickies. Oh my God. We rescued five puppies for protection, not only from people, but from animals as well. You got all of them. <laughs> We added a kitten to our family to reduce the mouse and snake populations to little baby Roger. Hi, Roger. And we also brought on four goats to cut our grass and produce goat's milk. Hi, babies. <laughs> We've patiently waited for over a year now for the goats to start producing milk. But today, that's all about to change. Is anyone here? The goat is giving birth right now. Stop. Yeah. Love, what? the goat's giving birth right now. What's up, you guys? <laughs> Welcome, Welcome back. back to Lola's farm. <laughs> <laughs> this is a big day. This is a big video. We're gonna lay down a bunch of tile out here, expand our living space by about 50% of what we've been living in. We've been living in 250 square feet now for two years. Our workshop slash shed slash tiny house, and we're moving that space out here, baby. We to could be- To our Santa Fe <laughs> styled patio. <laughs> So I just want to let you guys know real quick that today's video is sponsored by Beam. They are a functional supplement company that actually work. And they're offering an amazing deal right now going on that if you click the link in our description box below, use the code NOMADIC, you can get 15% off your purchase or 35% off if you subscribe. <laughs> I don't really know what to say. <laughs> we built these planter boxes because our cat, Roger, likes to sit up on them. And we figured if we put a bunch of plants here, not only will it look beautiful, but it'll stop all the paw prints from getting on the workshop. And he kind of breaks these just from Honestly, him being a little, a little chubby cat. I am like very curious how he even got up there. Can you guys see that? Like genuinely? <laughs> did he hop on this? Hi, baby. <laughs> so we're starting to get to some of the a little more difficult pieces because we're kind of working our way around this front step here, so. You guys can probably guess why we stopped right here the last time we were working, because it was just like, at the end of the day, when you're getting yeah. towards the end of the day, like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not doing. I'm trying to figure that out I'm right not, now. I'm not doing all these cuts right now. Even though it's not that complicated, after doing it for a bunch of hours, you're just like, no. nah. <laughs> Are you all done with school for today? La, la. What Spanish words did you learn today? Hola. Did you learn? Hola. Hola. Sí. Hola. Hola. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Gracias, Adriana. You guys have no idea how big of a help Adriana is. It's just when we just have those two hours. It makes the world of a difference. It's like, this was part of what we saw in Mexico and when we got this whole idea to this, to build a community. Yeah. I was like, man, people are going to think we're going to want to just buy a bunch of land to do a bunch of drugs. But it's like, <laughs> that's not really what it is. It's just yeah. like, hey, they do this in Mexico and they have way less and they make their lives so much easier. Exactly. So we're like, okay, why don't we just try and do the same thing? Mm -hmm. Just live with some other crazy people and figure it all out. That's right, baby. I'm telling you, we're not doing any drugs here. I know you guys think, it's like, oh, you guys are living off in the jungle, doing all this crazy stuff, <laughs> doing ayahuasca and freaking out. We're not, we're not really doing that. Only on the weekends. Yeah. Are you snoring, you little monkey? <laughs> Uh-oh. The rain just came in. This is really the start of the rainy season. Like it really starts coming in this week. And it'll get to a point where we're getting like 10 inches of rain a day, every day. Not just every once in a while, day after day. 10 inches, 10 inches, 10 inches. It's gonna kind of be a slow build up to that. And it's gonna cause us to start our work days much earlier. Right now we've been starting around nine. Pretty soon we'll be starting around six. I feel like we've been tag teaming this 
pretty well today. Jordan's been doing a lot of the harder cuts, weird angles, all that good stuff. And Kaylee's been doing all the tedious stuff because um, I just that's, that's, get distracted that's, by a fly. And yeah. That's, that's what I'm best at. You're just a simple kind of gal. I'm a simple kind of gal. <laughs> I got the construction sweatpants on. That means serious business. I'm gonna try to bang out as much as I can while George has Sadie. <clears throat> I'm genuinely enjoying this project. I feel like I've said this before, but like with the pizza oven and doing this whole patio, the whole construction in this area, everything we've done is all so new to us. We've never really done any of these things before. And I feel like I genuinely enjoy that. Even as, even as a kid, I always bounced around from so many different activities because I got bored so quickly. And I feel like this is also translating to my adult life as well. <laughs> Is anyone here? The goat is giving birth right now. Stop! Yeah. Love! What? The goat's giving birth right now. <laughs> what? <laughs> Run! Get, get Sadie, get Sadie! <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Oh, I'm so excited! Sadie, we're gonna watch birth! Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait! Kaki! The goats are giving birth! The goats giving birth! Alright, we gotta bring calm energy. This is like very important. Calm energy. Oh my god. This is amazing. Oh my god. That's it. That's it. I think she, I think she's gonna do it. You watching this, Bubba? She's giving birth. She's gonna have a baby. Oh, you did it. Come on. Come on. It's okay, she got it, she got it. Oh my god, there it is. No. So this is baby number one. Usually goats have almost always two, but they can also have three and four. Very rarely five and very rarely one. So she should have another one coming, at least. <laughs> Bro, what, I'm, I'm still shaking. I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> Imagine watching her being bored in the bathtub, bro. <laughs> I think you got one more, though, Alberta. What do you think? Go, go, baby, go. Welcome to the world. Welcome. I got your juice all over me. Yeah, that's great. That was by far one of the most amazing things I've ever witnessed. And that was so special. This is, that was the first birth that I ever witnessed, honey, other than my own. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do something. Rock, paper, scissors for who names the baby goat. Sadie wants to name Sadie, what do you want to name her? What do you think? How about? <coughs> that's what she wants, honey. Yeah. Daba. <laughs> Come on, give us something else to work with here. No. But I named Basilio, so I, I named the you father. You named Basilio. She named Alberta. I named Camila. She named Camila. Who named Roger? Uh, George. No, it was me because Haley used to call our cat George. So you know what? No, so I'm Isabella. That's my turn. It's your turn. Isabella. 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 Alright, Kake, what's the name? Jesus is arepa y senia. Is 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 us arepa. What's the color of arepa? arepa. Oh, I love that. <laughs> you love that? Yeah. Yeah, arepa. <laughs> arepa. Right, that's, arepa. That's her. Her, na her name's arepa. I will be honest. It got a little chaotic for a minute because we were all just like so excited, and we didn't have time to put the puppies away because it was just happening all so fast. So we were just really trying to be mindful of keeping the puppies away as far as we could. 
but one of our puppies will not leave. Will not Aww. leave their side. And you can tell she's taking a very, very protective approach. Anytime any other dog gets near them, she starts growling. Like she's like, those are her babies. <laughs> I literally have been like the, it's so funny, like the last couple days, I've been like so excited for goat milk. Babe, oh, for goat milk. For goat milk. <laughs> like that is gonna happen every single morning in our coffee. Boom. You know, Tea a lot of people, a lot of people pull the baby right, right away from the mom, and yeah. they start and they bottle feed it. Yeah. But I want to try to do it a little different. Right. Yeah, you know, we gotta. We, we're gonna share the teat with her, exactly, with that's, that's, We're gonna have one teat, and the baby has. <laughs> Rodrigo's just gonna be under there. <laughs> he literally said he's gonna do that. No. No, he was like dead serious. He's like, you're gonna find me over here with my mouth. No. Oh. no, no. <laughs> we got peaches and oats on the menu tonight. And for mom and dad, we got some asparagus, potato wedges, and sausages. This food. <laughs> so it's about eight o'clock, and Sadie just went down for sleep. Which means I should be going down for sleep. But let me tell you, that's not usually how I roll. I've always had a really, really hard time falling asleep and I've always just been a night owl. Even during these last six months with Sadie constantly waking me up through the night, you would think that by the end of the day, I could just whew. So I just wanna give you guys a little cheers to my new nighttime routine of getting Kaylee to fall asleep <laughs> with a little bit of dream beam and yoga. So basically what this stuff is, is a sleep relaxation enhancing hot chocolate and it's absolutely delicious. And one of the most amazing things is that all of the ingredients in the powder are actual things that I used to buy as individual supplements. So there's THC free, CBD, reishi, L-theanine, magnesium, and melatonin. All natural ingredients and all super, super, super effective. So I typically make my Beam Dream hot cocoa about a half hour before I go to sleep and it kicks in really fast. Jordan is already out. I made his about 30 minutes ago and he was like out like a light. <laughs> it's after midnight. Thinking about the baby goat. Just wanted to check on her. I checked on her maybe like three hours ago. I know everything's okay, but you know, you know how it is. Sometimes you just can't get over that anxiety. You just gotta go check, make sure everything's okay, and then you can go back to bed. They're cuddling. Look at her wrapping her head around her, that's so sweet. I'm so excited that we have a baby goat and that very soon we'll be getting goat's milk. My God, this farm just got so much better. I'm so excited. So I actually got a pretty good night's sleep last night. Even though when I went to bed, I was like, oh my God, I just can't wait to come back out here this morning and come check on the baby. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at him cuddling. <laughs> oh, it absolutely blows my mind that the second she came out, she's just like, boop, all four legs, walking around, so interactive. Do you hear it? This is, you voluntarily put this music on? It reminds me of like the childhood, like three, like the, the, you know, like the childhood cartoons, like Barney. Yeah. They're just all like. They're just like, you have a daughter, so. <laughs> Get used to it. <laughs> Sadie has about 45 minutes left of Spanish lessons with Adriana, a little Spanish school. And in that time, we have a lot of progress we needed to make. This baby goat came a little bit early and we're getting ready to move the boys down to where Rodrigo lives. That was a project that he really wanted to do and he really wanted to tackle on his own. But now we need to kind of juice this thing up, get this thing done, because the baby's here. What's up? <laughs> you can tell you have headphones in because you just scream way louder than you usually do. <laughs> or did you just drink an extra coffee today? 
Uh, I am still drinking it. I have my cup of coffee inside. I'm drinking like three cup of coffee. Already. Are we getting this thing done today or what, bro? Oh yeah, baby. All right, we're here. We're here to. We're here to. Uh, Bring the muscle. Yeah, we're getting this thing. We're getting this thing done. We're getting this thing going. Tell me what you need for me. Okay. Um, I need two. You all right, sweetie? Just tripping over the uh, vines. No big deal. <laughs> uh, to start placing those roof panels that I have there. That there is that one and there is that one. Okay. Four. So this is gonna be the new house for the boy goats. From the research that we've done, we've heard that when you're getting milk from the female goat, it's really good to separate the males from the females because if the males are around the females, somehow it makes their milk taste like grass. Dude, I gotta give you some credit. I put in four cariolas today. I welded in four cariolas. I did it all by myself and it was the biggest pain in the butt. And the fact that you built this whole thing basically by yourself, I don't even know, like how do you hold a tape? I was like trying to measure with a tape and it's like, I was like, you dude, I- tape to hold the tape. You get sticky tape and you yes. stick- Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta give you credit, bro. You've been crushing it. Die. You all right? I think so. I can see the light. All right, you guys, this is just for now. Tomorrow, you'll have a nice, beautiful door. And they'll also be out in pasture all day long. This is just for them to sleep in. So they'll be in here for like eight, 10 hours a day. And then they have all this grass to eat. I, we almost, I feel like we need almost like double the amount of goats we have. Kaylee will probably kill me for saying that, but we really can't keep up with the grass here. It just grows so aggressively, so. I'm gonna try and convince her to try to keep them all. Well, you guys, everybody in this household is sound asleep. I am right behind there. And I just wanna thank Beam again for sponsoring today's video. And if you guys are interested in trying them out, you can click the link in our description box below. Use our code NOMADIC to get 15% off your purchase or 35% off if you want to subscribe. And for a limited time only, you will get a free hydration six pack with any purchase. I highly recommend the Beam Dream, but they also have many other products to help support focus, clarity, energy levels, all that good stuff. So go check them out. But this is where I'm gonna leave you guys. Thank you guys so, so much for following along, for supporting us, for watching our crazy life journey. <laughs> And we'll see you guys on the next one.